Time to... Time to dive in. Time to get into the next chapter. To Twilight Town. How oh, very nice of this sign to actively tell me that this is where I need to go. We're not going anywhere. The pipe rejected you. Damn. Mario can't... Mario can't, can't, can't... Mario can't even get a date with a pipe. What's up with that? Yeah, let's go talk to the professor. No wall. You know what? I actually want to try something. Do I actively need to see the professor? Oh, I don't. Okay, interesting. I thought you... I, I always thought you had to go. I feel like I've, um... In the original, that you might have to see the professor. Also, he says that the only way to get through is to have something with your name written on it. You're trying to tell me that Mario does not have anything with his name written on it. Does this guy not carry a wallet with identity on him? I don't know. Bro, you dude. Dude's even got an M on his cap. What's your name? Coops. Dude, why would he... What is he poking at? It, 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 like, it, I feel like the most reasonable place to um, write a name on Coops would be on his shell. And, well, I don't exactly know the anatomy of a turtle, but um, isn't a shell pretty hard? And maybe... I don't even know. Do shells have feeling? Can you feel something if you if someone punched you in the shell? I feel like the fact that you have a defense of one dictates that you might feel a little bit less when you're getting hit on the shell. I don't know, man. I smell something funny. I always smell something funny. These games always have some kind of odd question to ask. Alright, well, turns out we didn't need to see the professor, which actually does save us a little bit. Sorry, that means no professor voice. Um, sure, let's have Koops out. I like to read dialogue, and I'm so used to, like, Yoshi's dialogue because I always go into this chapter with Yoshi. Alright, chapter four, baby. For pigs the bell tolls. Oink. I like that the art style in this in particular chapter actually feels significantly different. Like, the ground is like... I don't even know how to describe the ground. Isn't it a bit early for Twilight? Hey, wait a minute. Think this is Twilight Town? Bro, really? Call out the obvious, Coops. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You've come from far away. Okay, so I actually would like to say it probably has not been that long since people from far away have come here, but whatever, man. Yeah, those clothes of yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Um, that middle part about it being a bad time. What does that mean? It's, it's just megalomania. Oh, gee whiz. I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear. Scary to tell, too. And then bell ringing, apparently, that I didn't hear. Oh no, the bell rang again! Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Oink. Whoa, 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 whoa! What just happened? Oh, badness. Now poor Gloomer got turned into a pig. Not good. In the original, his name was Freddy, but I think that was actually an oversight and a mistake. It wasn't supposed to be Freddy. Who are you, sir? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dower. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I believe your adventure is right. Sharp is right. You're like a plush toy. I think plush toys are the opposite of sharp. Yeah, I'm looking at my collection right now, and none of them look all that sharp to me. Two different meanings. I'm going with the actual pokey poke sharp. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. As you might have guessed, our town has been cursed. Uh, cursed? We're always running into places at the right time, aren't we? 
Yes, cursed. That's the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond this town is a forest, and at its heart is an ancient building, the creepy steeple. The dark creature who lives there, it cursed or its curse ordains the that which the steeple bell rings. Why on earth? You know, you could have just said it it cursed the bell. One of the twilighters living here becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I too become a curly-tailed oinker? Hey, you can't use that word. That's their word. I don't know. Oinker just sounds like it could be like a slur for pigs. The whole village would be one big pig pen, which would be bad. See, here's the question. If the cursor mon the cursing monster turns everyone into a pig, what then? What fun do you get out of that? Everyone's a pig, you're just watching a bunch of people act like pigs. Then what? Well, then you're back to square one. I don't know anything about a crystal star, but there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star at the building. Yeah. That fits the description. Unthinkable. Alright. I always love questioning everything about this game, because, like... <laughs> There are, I feel like there are quite a few plot holes to talk about, but, you know. Otherwise, it's still my favorite game, and that's not going to stop me from loving it. Fireflower. I fail to see how I'm going to need this right now, but I'll find some use for it. I know there's a star piece somewhere around here. I think it's here. Yep, right there. Alright. Yep, more coins. I think that's just about it for anything significant, but... Just in case. Yep, there's one more. Uh, any flippy panel in here? No, I don't think there is, actually. Truth be told, I don't think there's anything else here, either. Ugh. Excuse me. Um, if I'm correct, no, nothing here. But, I know there's a star piece here. And again, I don't really think there are any panels around here. Yeah, I'm going to need to talk to this girl first. A customer? I'm sorry, we're not open right now. Why are you, cr why are you crying? Why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig. Is it that one? My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs. But no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig. We got into a fight before he left, and I called him a chauvinist pig. That's, uh... Yeah, that'll do it. That'll, that'll, that'll trip the guilt real fast. And now he really is a pig. But he has a sweet side, too, like cooking my favorite food on my birthday, you know? And when shoppers get rude, my husband escorts them out in such a manly way. He's just so... Ah, uh, uh, damn it! I, I, it's going too fast now. I can't keep up. Uh, yeah, you don't get a chance to actually read that. In the original, you can go back and read it, but we can't read it here. Are you even listening? Yeah, sure. I was trying to, but you were speaking too fast, honey. So, hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. You can even take whatever you want from the storeroom. It might help, you know? See, the hilarious thing is, that's not exactly an offer I think a shopkeeper should be making to a random bypasser. Also, I would like to point out, your storeroom is actually more empty than, you, than it should be. Right, right. The old nasty monster beyond the gate. That sounds familiar. Yeah, didn't we encounter that in Petalburg? And it was just a thwomp that quizzes people? It's not scary. It's not really much of anything. Oh, bell ringing. The bell, Mario. The bell! That must mean someone's going to... Whew, I hate to say it, but I'm glad it wasn't me. Oh, actually, I want to do this. I haven't been able to buy food for my children since my husband turned into a pig. Wow, that's the uh, second widowed woman to be to uh, the pig curse. Now they're all so hungry. What should I do? Aw, oh, the kids are hungry. Hi, traveler. If you have any spare food, could you share it with us? Of course. I mean, it looks like a terrible person if I don't give him a full-on steak, but I'm gonna give him the slow mo that doesn't seem edible. Oh. You know what? I am a big man. 
I want you guys to enjoy this. Well, thank you so much. You've made my children very happy. It's not the best trade-off in this case, but... I'm really struggling to find a current means of when I'm going to use that churn steak. Also, this happens. Mm, kid's crying! Fix my mommy! Mommy, you're a piggy! And then there's this one. Just this one. Hey, are pigs good eating? Kid! You are not seriously considering eating your mother! That, that's a very screwed up bet. That, that's just so messed up, man. But yeah, no, I gave her the shrimp steak. I hope those kids are happy. Eat the steak, guys. Uh-oh. Oh, man, you think this pig is Mayor Dower? This is awful. What do we do? We need his permission to get through the gate. Hey, man, I have a question. Can I go through the gate? Well, it sounds like a yes to me. I realize that what I said earlier could seem dubious, but look, understand that these kids were willing to cook their mother. She's a- just because she turned into a pig. That's not right. What are you gonna do if I turn her back to normal? Oh, hello. Um, where do you think the gatekeeper went? Oh, he turned into a pig. I feel bad for saying this, but that's good for us, Mario. We could just walk through. Hey man, can I open the gate? Sounds like a yes to me. Uh, that's my gag. That's my gag for the, uh, that's my gag for the episode. Worth it. This is new. And then there's the key in here for Shocker, a black chest. And then there's some coin block in here. Alright, I'm gonna need, nope, not Flurry. I'm gonna need Goombella, because we're gonna need to do some tabling. Alright. A little bit of combat. Oh, mushroom. What you gonna do, big guy? You can't get me while I'm on this block. But, boom. Right in the head. Right in the noggin. Oh, hey, there's a crazy daisy here. That's new. Or, not common, at least. Alright, so... Here's a, I, I'm gonna tattle on all of these, might as well. Yeah, it kinda is, actually. It's, uh, it's, it may not have a high attack power, but... It's lullaby can put you to sleep. And... You know... It's, um... Not good, because it could stun you in Well, I wouldn't say stun you in sleep, because it could also technically wake you up. And I also don't think that uh, sleep stacks. But I'm okay with this thing, you know, running away. Oh, it's charging. Yeah, he's gone. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to tattle on the Hyper Paradigm book. Yep. Basically a Hyper Goomba with wings. It's the same deal. It charges up and it'll have an attack power of eight. Um, see, here's the... Th okay, you know what? It actually is arguably much easier to guard against a Goomba than it is a Paragoomba, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. That's not very confident building. There we go. A little bit earlier. Um, then we're gonna tattle on the Hyper Goombas. Cause I have to tattle on everything. In fact, this just saves me a tattle, like, in the next battle. I'm gonna them all right here. It's a hyperactive Goomba. Duh. Okay, but what does it mean to be hyper? Basically, hyper just means it's got the ability to charge the attack. I think there were some, like, hyper bombs that were supposed to be in the game as well that got cut. In fact, if I recall correctly, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but, um... Almost everything that was cut in the original game is still in the files for this game as well. I think. I think a lot of badges, a lot of the cut badges from the original Thousand Year Door are still in the game's coding for the remake as well, which is weird. 
Because if you didn't use them then, and you had no intention of using them this time, why on earth would you bring them back again? That... What was that hitbox? Oh, jeez, you guys have a lot of items. Okay. What? Oh, you know... Mm, oh, no, I cannot. There is nothing. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I could just stack two items. Or actually, you know what I could try to do? I just blow them all away. To be frankly honest, this is what I do when I see too many items on the field. There we go. And I still get the star points for them. Like, they, they, like that's not cheap in the slightest. Please keep in mind that Gale Force does not always work, and it just has a higher chance of working against flying enemies because they have wings and they're flying. That's two super shrooms. I think it might be time to upgrade HP soon. Yeah, 100% actually. My next level up, I'm probably gonna do HP. All right, Spike Goombas. These guys are gonna be a little bit more to deal with. Also, keep in mind that we still only have one character um, capable of dealing with Spike down effectively. And that is Koops. I mean, Yoshi can do it too, but it costs FP. Goombella, I don't know what these things are. Can you tell me what they are? Hyper Spiky Goomba. It's a spike, Hyper Goomba with a spike on its head. Dude, no way. It just gets one extra, because it's a spike enemy, it's got one extra attack power. I mean, there is a way to dodge that attack. It's called super guarding. Have you not, do, Goombella, do you not know that super guarding is the answer to just about every problem in this entire game? I mean, it's not always gonna deal damage back at the enemy, but it stops you from taking damage 100% of the time. Unless the attack can't be super guarded, which in that case, well, have fun with whatever life you have. You just better hope you're good at curving. Alright, so we're gonna have to hit back up with Koops, which is gonna be very bad if these guys uh, successfully land a hit on him, because he's gonna be on his back and then he'll be useless. Alright, Mario. That's exactly what I was talking about. There we go. Okay, so that's not good. Koops is on his back, so we're gonna we're gonna go down to just one. Hyper Spiked Goomba. I don't want to deal with both of them. Oh! Nice. Koops, get up! Get up, man! You know what? He'll get up this turn. And then... I won't be able to attack with him, but that doesn't matter, because the Goomba's gonna thaw out. And then I'm gonna be able to attack again. And he's dead. Alright. I'll be 100% honest. Dialogue? This takes a long time out of my episode. Like, god damn. That 20 minutes went by super fast. Alright. Uh, what was in here? Oh, it was a coin. I don't even know if I started in. Oh, wait, no, I think that was a regular one. This one's a coin block. There. Yeah. I just realized that I have to go all the way back, too. Alright, well, easy. And then, you know what? Screw it, we'll go a little bit longer. Let's go. I say a little bit longer, I mean basically long enough just to get ourselves cursed and then that's it. Hello, madam. I found your key. I didn't find your husband, but I found your key. Alright. Uh, how many items do I have? I have seven. Okay, we're good. Another live stream is always nice. Uh, booze sheet will be useful. Life mushroom, of course. The jam and jelly I'll probably just store because I don't need that right now. Defend plus. Not entirely sure if I'll actually use that. It's not a power boost, but it's also a boost that I don't really think I'll need because I already have power lift. Yeah, you're a third one. 
I'm not like those chests, I promise. Look at my eyes, tell me I'm lying. What well, eyes, I can't see you. I'm not, seriously, just get me out of here, you'll see. Don't make me beg. What? Come on, you know how ridiculous you sound right now. I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse you? Yeah, actually, the other two did that. And you're not that much different looking. Well, I did plan on something to you, but it's not much of a curse as a, a really wonderful new ability that'll allow you to go special places. You know, technically speaking, that's more hitting the nail than the uh, curses. Come on, please, just find the key and open the chest. I know it's near this town somewhere, I just can't go looking for it for myself because I'm in here. Got your key. Yeah, let's get this done and over with. Yeah, you think I'm as dumb as I look? What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Now I'm gonna hit you with the king of curses. The cursiest curse ever. You know what? I'm gonna hit you with the skippiest dialogue ever. The skippiest of skippiest dialogue. Yeah, that's right. Get wrecked. I skipped all your shit. And on top of that, your curse your cursey doesn't even uh Oh yeah, I already I already did take everything out of your storage room. Uh yeah, and to make it even more embarrassing, your curse doesn't even I, I choose when your curse activates. So screw you. Alright. Well that'll be it for this episode. Tune in next time where we put this new ability to good use. So I'll see you guys then.